the rotation here. Feta opting Radiant's to top help out top attack. before actually finishing the push down the middle. And yeah, that teleport will complete, but it's only a lower dance here. He has to be careful not to get too close. That range strike tail would have got them there. Well, mid. Oh, my Tumba Man actually went for the max rocket build, so now that that one pushes no one on top of Jerry. That's a dragon man. He has to break down if you're out of burst. Now, they're gonna go for it again, but this is not the general here. Not the snowball. The FFT is here too. Not the high ground. And, and that wall doing a decent amount of damage. But <laughs> Kuro is actually all alone here. Sun comes in. That's a call on finally. As Kuro, not quite that just yet. Wind's curse actually committed. To bring, finally bring it down, but meantime, meantime, Jerbrax might control here, controlling up everyone on the side of the Empire, but that's not still pretty healthy. Jerry needs to fight with the Snowball as well from the Tusk. Now, they do get the Jar comes down, mind control Jerbrax, they're both very low, and it's a five man wipe! Just waiting for the blink in, but there's more help coming for Empire here, two teleports come out, there's a Snowball here dodging one of the Pokemon stacks on the phone. Yolo, now Tusk actually blows up after the line, and now Superman being focused down by General up top here, Fata trying to find a target here, doesn't have his ultimate form, doesn't have too much amount of attack, actually has plenty to play with, but just can't reach anyone, stuns a creep, now my controller back here, catches too, and going to be enough silence, still up and about the apathy, a little bit of a rough spot, but General still around, gets, gets cast, bounced by the cast, and it takes a lot of damage from the but ultimately not enough. Gano can't get you anywhere, and instead, the smoke up is five. They get him up on the smoke, and Gano comes in as well, trying to help, but he's not really helping anyone right now. Except Team Empire, and now it's their turn to turn a pick off into a push. That's the that's one finally. That's of him, Jung's there. Getting themselves into position to stop the push. Lift onto Faker, he's kind of isolated here. Inside, rocking away in his mind, comes up into the They guy now should figure out that it's probably no mind the fact that they know to stay out. Nato would actually spot them here. They just have to be sure not to punch up for it's good. Oh, okay, there it is. General in the block out with these uh attacks. The Hawks come out, Beta in the middle of a fight. The lower lands are backside of Adelaide down the line, he's looking for fire. Actually, can't really find the one that he wants here. Everyone's still alive though, I'm not sure how Beta finally fighting the sorted here in the back, so. He's down for the count, he can't fight back down to 20 seconds. Tumble Man on top, Kettle Lord and Mana and Health though. Save for everyone inside of the Yolk, so that's all they have. All the juice that they have left and with. Empire? Uh, okay. Oh, damn. Well played. The big quad was gonna pick him off anyway. Now he's gonna jump on the general with the rotation down from Tumble Man. They do have the ultimate hit. They want to blow that ultimate, but he doesn't. Oh, he wants the cat. Maybe he does need Koopa. Oh, God, he's actually gonna be able to get away. Let's have him come back. No damage oh. that I opened, my top of the man's gonna go down! I don't know if they shot a miracle right now, if they want to turn this around and... Oh. Nice one, just got us on three! Silent comes in here, locking, uh, locking onto... Uh, who's that? Fainter. Bringing that up, man, out of light points here. It's calling up on the top of man, trying to do what he can. Meanwhile, back to control. Dropping down the cars here. Just desperately trying to find something. I think Fainter here, that might turn it around, so Silent... He doesn't give it that. Just locks on Kuroki, therefore not doing nearly as much as they need to. Aisha is even blocking him in a little bit here. The old warrior with the punch up into the end. Again, Mother Kill Fata. Dragged out of his own bounce here now. Stunned up, locked down. Blubber King is not going to save with ending. They dive the bounce. They get Kuro. Then that's GG here. Triple kill for both. Heals him back up, and Mana is actually perhaps the one in trouble here. He's gonna be lanced up, and he has enough mana for a jump over this cliff, but Silent still has the doppelganger. Vada pops it, doppelganger follows, and Vada, he's stuck, he goes up the cliff. Oh, oh he just... Oh, you proved yourself the Reddit. Challenge, Vada comes forward, trying to go on Aloha Dance with the Orchids, and maybe enough, guarding Greaves as well as Pipe, Aloha Dance, will survive long enough, but it looks like the new count from the Silencer will finish him off. Girl gets the extra HP, but he'll die to the wall from the Meanwhile, Rage Rack's up next. Spirit Breaker just drawing as much time as humanly possible, even if it does cost him the gem. He's giving openings for General to be able to go for this second lane pack. Meanwhile, buyback on the Phantom Lancer is stopping the top lane from going down. 
Ultimate drop by General. Full committal here. Everything they have to be able to take out this second lane. He can deliver King, keeping him alive. They don't have the counter vision. He's turned around. Great impel out. General's eating through these illusions and the main streets are achieved. Even if it does cost them the Aegis and the team fight at the end, it doesn't matter. They've got the Mega Creeps. Now the second battle. General comes back, finishes off the Rubik on top of Man. They do manage to get silent. But top of Man, he needs some bashes desperately here, but he's actually controlled by Lion. He'll go down as well. And no buyback from him. No buyback from anyone else. And GG is the call. Empire win it.